So we've got a new kit from Walmart called Lego Technic. And it's this kind of a front end loader and back hole with 104 pieces. We're gonna put this together. Abby is going to assemble it and then we're gonna add this motor or try to. We have to include these wheels because the original wheels don't accommodate an axle. Got an axle and we're gonna do two wheels that have axles, these two, and then two wheels that don't have axles like these. Then we can use remote control programming to drive this vehicle. So we will update you on this as we go along. She's putting it all together. Okay, we finished up this kit. Can you explain what you did? You put the pieces together? Yes. Got it to work? Does the bucket go up and down? All right, so now what we can do is add this motor maybe to the back of it on a five by seven, right back there. We can plug a five by seven in here and then we can put the motor on that and then we can add power wheels, maybe these wheels on axles. Let's see if we can do that next time. We're gonna need a warm gear and a regular gear. So there will be more. Lego Technics from Walmart, $10. Okay, we're continuing on with this motor. Uh, the girls were putting together this $10 Lego kit, which is this end of the assembly. And then we added a motor to the back part. It's just got a uh, warm gear and a conventional gear to drive the two wheels. We've got other assemblies of this motor, $5 motor with Bluetooth programmable. This kit we found at Walmart for $10. That's this part. The difficulty in adding this motor I found is getting parts, Lego Technic parts, that are in two planes. This is a standard Lego Technic beam. It's only in one direction or one dimension or one plane. This, of course, has two planes. We call it a five by seven, but it's large and it doesn't fit real well. For example, right here, this is in two planes. I think we call this an H Technics block. This one is in two planes also. And this assembly here we managed to use. In order to have the drive shaft that comes out of the motor and then drives the wheels, once again, Put that back in where it belongs. So, there'll be more on all this.